come to the UK at the moment do come to London. We want them to get out and see the, the treasures that we've got outside. Well, joining me is Roy Graf, a consultant from China Business Service. Now, first of all, the Olympics, Roy, what did the Chinese tourists make of their experience over here for the Olympics, do you think? I think the Olympics uh, was watched uh, pretty avidly uh, in China. I mean, since 2008, with the Beijing show what, being what it was, um, they became uh, much more interested in, uh, in sports. And I think uh, the build-up to the Olympics uh, made Britain also a focus. So overall, they were very happy to watch it. I think they also, um, from what I've read in Chinese media, were very positive about the execution. Yeah. So how important is China to British tourism, do you think? Well. Um, in, the, in terms of global context, China is important to the global tourism industry, very important. There's about 80 million Chinese tourists that will travel abroad this year, uh, although the majority of those will stay within Southeast Asia. Um, over in Southeast Asia, you can already see the impact. I mean, Chinese uh, are the most important tourists to most of the um, economies there. When it comes to the UK, at the moment, we're not talking about very big numbers. I think last year, about 160,000 uh, Chinese. It actually dropped uh, during the economic recession. Um, we have um, uh, challenges around uh, visa and around the fact that uh, in the past um, the budget of Visit Britain, uh, the tourism promotion body, has been cut. Uh, I'm glad that uh, today Jeremy Handelan's study will actually be increased again. So the visa problem, that, that is essentially that Chinese people find it much easier to come here as a group as, uh, rather than an individual visa. Basis. Well, in Isn't fact, uh, the only um, tourist visa available to them is a group visa. So they have to uh, apply through a travel agent in China. They have to uh, then work with a local tourist. Uh, authorized to operator in the UK, so only groups of minimum five people uh, can travel. So for individuals, it's still very difficult. They need to either have a, uh, um, a sponsor here if it's a personal visit or a business reason to go. So what should we be doing to try to lure more Chinese people here? What, what kind of things do, do perhaps hotels need to be doing differently, restaurants need to be doing differently? Um, well, on the government side, the, the visa issue would be the, the, the biggest single uh, benefit in terms of how we can quickly uh, grow the numbers. I think also we should not really focus on the total numbers, but really understand how much the Chinese spend, uh, especially the wealthy Chinese, and try to lure them in with our um, high quality tourism attractions and service. Um, what hotels can be doing in that uh, respect is uh, trying to offer more amenities that Chinese would expect in hotels. Um, and this is available online, but generally speaking, uh, whether it's food items that Chinese like or um, uh, tea kettles to boil water for tea uh, in the rooms, um, toiletries that they expect complementary again because this is what they're used to in their domestic uh, hospitality sector. Um, when it comes to um, attractions, destinations, localizing in the right way to, uh, in Mandarin Chinese um, and in simplified Chinese uh, in terms of the written form would be obviously a step in the right direction, getting more Chinese uh, speaking guides uh, that qualified for blue badge, things like that. So we should definitely be uh, teaching our children to speak Mandarin then? Um, well, I, I will be teaching mine. <laughs> and when, when they're here, what do Chinese people spend their money on? Is it possible to sort of characterize where this money goes? This is actually an area where they're very different from how other um, tourists behave. Uh, many tourists uh, from the West would uh, like to stay in nice hotels, to spend uh, money at nice restaurants, um, you know, pamper themselves. Whereas Chinese would prefer to spend their money on, on um, tangible assets, on, uh, on shopping, on jewelry, fashion, things like that, watches. Um, and uh, that, is, that is how they are quite different. And I think that our retail industry is very keen to um, tap into that market. Uh, one of the things that can be doing, and, and many department stores in the UK are already doing, is accepting the uh, Chinese uh, credit cards, which are called China Union Pay cards. Brilliant. Well, uh, there I'm afraid we must leave it. Roy Graf, consultant from China Business Service. Thanks very much. Thank you. Well, Roy mentioned the Chinese interest in fashion and one of the most influential names in women's magazines.